presented to you by Northern Gaming and uh, ESL. Now, moving on, post the Clash Royale match, which was amazingly intense. First of all, Mrin Moy Mrin Lakar in good form, in good shape. 3 0 is the scoreline he won the game uh, with. Now, moving on, we have a Counter Strike Global Offensive game uh, in the offing. We have uh, teams ready and revved up to go face each other. It's Whack Band versus Portal Esports. So let's quickly take a look at the teams and then head into the game. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the ESL India Premiership, the Masters League. And today's game is going to be played between Portal Esports, all the way from Pakistan, and Team Vac Band from Mumbai. Now, Team Vac Band have gotten off to a very slow start. They haven't really won any of their games yet, but then that could be due to the fact that first they played with four men, and then the next game is just not clicking for them. Anyway. It's going to be PES versus Vac Band. It's going to be on Mirage. And the pistol round is well underway. Underpass aggression coming up. And Pokemon, a Pokemon just getting dinked down to 2 HP. Insta dink coming in. That is not going to feel good for him. Anywho, still a 5v5. There is a kit on the criminal and a smoke as well. Whilst Vac Band have decided to go for 5 raid bosses, Glocks and armor across the board. And it looks like it's going to be set up for a B hit. Now a dry B push, faint, spots out one player. He's still going to be playing from balcony. He's going to fall down, relinquishes some map control, but then he's going to get shot straight in the face, spawn opening things up. Criminal does get the trade. Criminal and Rane, Kaka and spawn. They're just going absolutely ham. Now Trans left in a 1v4. This is looking really bad for uh, Portal Esports. And there we go, spawn. A glorious 4k to start things off. He's, he's going to be feeling very, very good. That, that has got to instill in him some sort of confidence. And PES, well, they're going to go in for the force buy. That's kind of expected at this point. Uh, Indian teams have been known to struggle against the anti-force, especially the armor pistols. And yeah, everyone on PES is going to be buying up armor and an upgraded pistols, except for Criminal, who's just gone for the upgraded P250. Let's see what they can do. HSB, the star of the show, holding mid with the hand cannon. Trans making his way up towards the ramparts or above Palace. And it's a very passive setup coming out from Vacband. I think they're lining up or setting up for an A execute or an A pincer, but that's a little hard to tell at the moment because you, you have Spawn and Rane Kaka just watching for the push from either B or towards mid. Neither team really being very enterprising. Criminal now just stepping out, trying to gather some information. Takes a peek out towards mid. He's going to go out pushing. Whoa, faint. He's in a good position. He can catch a couple of players off guard. And there's Rane Kaka with his pants down. And faint is just going to lay waste to the two players pushing up B. In the meantime, the A hit has come in. Trans has taken a lot of damage. But it does not matter because Pokemon, he's going to catch them all. And now it's all done to Chris with 14 HP. Criminal, well, he knows exactly where Chris is. Baited out perfectly there. Trans... Getting baited in for the kill by his teammate, Criminal. Actually, I think that was an un unintentional bait because Criminal was more interested in going for that AK-47. And just like I said, Indian teams have time and time again displayed this real reluctance to use their utility and to play the anti-force properly. And they've paid for it time and time again, both against international opponents and local rivals. And with that, Portal Esports will equalize the score 1-1. And now Vac Band, it's their chance. It's their turn to force it up. Can they return the favor? Well, that's a question on everybody's minds. Two players high mid and instantly Spawn finds HSB down. He goes 
almost zero damage coming out from uh, HSB. That's going to be a huge advantage for Vakband going forward if they can only recover that M4 uh, that's been dropped towards B short. So far, no one's really watching it. Uh, Portal very spread out. They're going to be u they should be using the range that these guns afford them over the pistols and not take the engagements in the cramped closed quarters, which is definitely going to be favoring the T's from VAC band. Anyway, they it's going to come in, come down to an A hit. Jimmy just crawling his way out, getting spotted out. Trans rattles off a few shots in the meantime. Pokemon and Trans, Trans, what are you doing? Two quick kills and now it's all down to Rane Kaka alone with the Deagle. Rattles off a shot, but Pokemon is like, sit down, son, sit down. This is my house. Uh, you ain't get up to no shenanigans in my house. There we go, PES holding strong, just one player lost, no big deal. They're going to be facing off against a full eco, just Glocks, maybe a couple of upgraded pistols, maybe that too. And nope, it's going to be a full eco, so PES can really farm that money up. Pocket Monster, a Poke Monster, a Pokemon, he's just, he's just wrecking ship, wrecking house with just the Deagle. Criminal towards mid, good flashbang. Everybody's blind. Criminal spots out the all, almost the entire team sprays down. Not able to find the kill. But now it's going to come down to HSB who's playing towards Market Pillar. Gets one, gets two, lines them up. And it's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Two kills going to the UMPs, two kills to the rifle. And now it's down to free kill. Can he find at least a kill? Criminal, very, very low. Would be really helpful to take that AK-47 out of his hands. But... I don't think he's going to face. I don't think he is interested in taking the peak. They know, they have a rough idea where Criminal is playing from. So, there's no need to go for the peak. But, oh, I think F Free Kill uh, spotted Criminal's elbow there. And Free Kill, he's just biding his time. There's m a minute left to play with. He can still find a kill or two. And, yeah, indeed, he's going to find Criminal. That's the AK-47 taken out for the time being. And Pokemon, he's going to fall by the wayside as well. Free kill, making it, a, making it a slightly expensive endeavor for the CTs this round. Oh, what a shot from Trans. And Trans should be able to recover the AK-47 as well. Well, first gun round, armor AK-47, a smattering of utility for VAC band. On the flip side though, Pez, criminal with the AWP, he's going to go aggressive in Palace. What can he get for this aggression? Will he be rewarded or will he be punished? Chris, going to come peering around the corner any second now. And criminal is going to be the one who gets the frag, no problemo. Trans playing from ticket booth towards CD spawn, a couple of flashes being lobbed in towards the A-bomb site. Again, it's a very spread out default coming out from Vakpan. Very little trade potential anywhere on the map. And that's, you know, if there was any aggression, it would have really hurt them. And the fact that really annoys me the most is the fact that Rane Kaka is alone, all by his lonesome, with the C4 and, and HSB. He's pushed up B-shot. They're getting a lot of information here. Portal, they don't need to aggress. They've got the man advantage. And we do see... Faint landing a ding through the wall. It's going to be a fake towards the A bomb site, towards the B bomb site. Three players. They're selling it really heavily right now. Bomb is still by A. The fact of the matter is, Spawn getting that opening kill will draw the rotation, and that should be drawing the rotation. But Trans, now he's going to move. It looks like the fake might just work out, and Vakband might be getting their first round. But Pocket, Pocket, Pokemon, sorry. Why do I keep saying Pocket Monster? He's going to get two kills. He's just a man on a mission. And now this is going to be a bit of a problem because uh, the CTs know that the bomb is towards the A-bomb side. There is only all but Rane Kaka. He's going to spot out one player towards B-shot. He's going to go towards CT to get CD control while his teammate, who's still coming up underpass, can cut off the rotation. But the CT should be aware of the fact that there might be one player coming up on the backstab. That is free kill. He's going to go have to go huge. Does find Trans. Criminal falls as well. Now it's all down to Pokemon. He has to go huge. He has to get a 4K in order to clutch this round out. There's not much time left on the bomb clock. A horrible nade, but doesn't matter. Free kill will be able to seal the deal. Good fake coming out from uh, Vac Band. It does work out. The three man commit towards the B bomb site, and the fact that they managed to get those two opening kills is really what allowed Vac Band to swing back into the round, into the game. Get that fake to work out, get the bomb down, take good post plants, and then hold off the 2v3 retake. 
Very crucial flank coming in from Free Kill. It was his job to stay alive. Had he died over towards the B bomb site, that would have been GG for the round. There was no coming back. But him staying alive was the linchpin, and he proved to be the crucial, crucial pair in that clutch. Jimmy getting spotted out towards uh, Palace by Pokemon. And look at this aggression. Free kill marking for the push. Doesn't matter. Fane too quick for him. And no trade. That's what I've been saying. That they're so spread out here that there's very little chance for trades coming in. And well, there we go. Trade elsewhere on the map. Pokemon getting obliterated from the face of this server by that nade. 4v4, it's still going to uh, favor the terrorists because, you know, as you saw in the previous round, you can bunch up, go towards the bomb site, and just brute force your way in. So, what is PES going to do? Can they hard reset their opponents and send them back to Eco City, a place where Portal will be more than happy to see their opponents? Or will VAC Band prevail? And again, it looks like Vakband are favoring the B bomb side. Faint spots out two, three players. Will chuck a flash. HSB in the meantime gets Rane Kaka. Faint alone on the bomb side does have support coming in right now. Spots out spawn going towards truck. Faint will get the kill in the meantime. Trans and HSB chiming in with kills of their own. And yeah, it is going to be back to Eco City for Team Vakband. I mean, this is the worst possible predicament for any team to be. You have two players in double Eco territory. And three players who will just barely be able to scrape by in the next round. They're going to get $1,900. So that's going to mean Jimmy's going to be on 44, 43. And the two echoing players will be on, well, $3,300. It's not going to be a good buy coming out in the next round should they choose to go for it. Because they have gone for the full eco except for Chris who's just upgraded his pistol to the CZ-75. And look at that. Look at the awareness from Portal. This is what I want you guys to be aware of. They're all playing long angles. No one is playing up close and personal anyway. Pokemon, again, opening things up with the kill on a free kill. Free kill, while he did have that clutch play in the round that they won on their buy round, their first buy round. But since then, I mean, it, and even before, he's been sort of reckless with his life. I mean, this round doesn't really speak to anything. It's a, more or less a full eco. Criminal getting tagged up. Spot spawn going to... Oh, what a shot. Trans Pokemon. Criminal. This A defense is nigh impenetrable. Well, Chris does manage to find a kill, but HSB from Connector with the Zoom Banger will bang. I think it's Chris right into the next round with that Magnum shot. Anyway. Anyway. Portal Esports 5, VAC Band 2. This is looking rather ominous, a sign of things to come because it is going to be a double eco. Like I said, two players not with much money. They're going to go for the armor pistol buy up, maybe try and give themselves a fighting chance or at least a snowflakes chance in hell of winning this round. Because seeing as how these boys from uh, across the border have been playing, they don't look like in the mood to lose. And HSB needs to be careful. Can get bum rushed by pistols. Nope. Spots out. Multiple players will chuck a nade. Will that do some damage? Yes, it does. Jimmy down to 52 health. And he's repositioned rather well. Can get a kill or two on the players on the cross. Legs one. But there we have Faint, who's just going to lay down the spray down. Gets two quick kills. And now what do VAC Band do? Bomb still in their control. But five players on the CT side, armed to the teeth. It's not much they can do at this point. And they're trapped. They're trapped in B-House. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Nice. Nice. HSB trying his best to land a shot, but he's going to get dinked. This can get expensive for the CTs, and indeed it does. Two players down, Pokemon with the nade. Oh my god, Poke Monster! Poke Monster! Recovers the AWP as well. Three kills for him, a double for two. That's the full house of frags between these two stalwarts of Counter-Strike. Man, what beautiful CS on display from the boys from Pakistan. That is just glorious to watch. Look at that, Pokemon is on 13 frags. 13 frags. That is ridiculously good. He's been a one-man wrecking ball for Portal so far. And it does seem like Criminal 
may have timed out. Yeah. And Trans gets the kill. Pokemon with the second. And even though they're a man down from the start of the round, somehow Pess are still doing it. There we go. Ranekaka catching an overzealous Pokemon off guard. It's a 2v3. Trans still in high mid knows that there might be someone coming. Jimmy needs to be careful. And Jimmy has just soiled his Jimmy's. Trans like a bat out of hell. What a shot. Bomb has gone down. Post plants are decent. Can Trans and HSB do it? That's the question. Smoke does go out. That can draw out a couple of players. Good Molotov. Good utility usage. They still have a flashbang and a smoke remaining. The CTs. And I think HSB is just going to go for it. Trans gets one, gets two, Trans! Oh my giggity. What was that? Wow. That was glorious. Glorious. Anyway, guys, um, it is a timeout. And, well, since Criminal is back into the server, I guess we'll be getting underway immediately. But that retake from portal gosh darn it what are you doing vac band that was your round to lose and trans just saying nope comes up says yes two crucial headshots i think he got i think he got four kills the previous round that, that's glorious Anyway, things have slowed, been slowed down. Things have quieted down. Vac band on their full proper buy. It's a very default two one two setup coming out from Portal Esports. I mean, Vac band should have caught on to it by now. Jimmy's still in Palace. He's going to come peeking around the corner, and I mean. Nothing really to write home about. HSB spots a couple of players coming in towards Connector. And Pokemon. Pokemon is just not taking any prisoners. He's just a one-man demolition crew. And my god, has he showed up. HSB gets Chris as well. That's a two-man advantage. And it, it just, Vacman just look hapless. They look clueless. They're just walking around willy-nilly. Just waltzing into the crosshairs of the players from Portal Esports. And just dying. It's like they have no will to live. They have no will to win. It's depressing. It's depressing to watch. There we go. The B hit comes in. We still have HSB right underneath the window. He's going to spot out the bomb carrier. Gets the kill. Criminal in the meantime gets Jimmy. And now it's all down to free kill. Will he be a free kill or will he manage to take a couple with him? Nope. He's going to be a free kill. Down he goes. Pes 8. Vac band 2. Well, Vac Band have just, they've just been beaten, brutalized, savaged, and absolutely demolished up till now. 8 to 2, going into the 11th round, Portal Esports looking like they've just showed up. It's like par for the course for them. It's another 4C buy, half, half ish buy coming out from Vac Band. One scout on a free kill and upgraded pistols and a couple of players with armor. Faint will chuck. A smoke followed by a nade, which is going to do some damage onto Chris. That Molotov is going to force him off his position. HSB will we see the spam god return. Some glorious wall banging action. And that's the problem. Everyone's so bunched up and a free kill with the scout. He's going to go, you know, gallivanting in towards mid. Oh, that is so unfortunate. That barrel of his gun getting spotted out, but now. Faint is all alone on the B bomb side. Help needs to arrive fast, and that is going to come in the form of HSB over in B short. He's going to keep shooting, keep shooting, and Faint and HSB. What a beautiful hold off that B bomb side. Just one casualty, and they're just waltzing in. They're just dancing towards the victory. There was the finish line. They've already put nine rounds on the board. Vacban just look completely clueless. It's like the first time they're playing this map, and for Christ's sakes, it's Mirage, guys. It's Mirage.
I know you're better than this. I've I cast you the previous year, and you guys had so much going for you. You guys were good. You guys were coordinated. Where has that whack band gone? Trans making his win uh, his way towards sandwich Pokemon, playing towards mid, and it's again a four one split. These these defaults seldom work. I mean, the thing is. Portal isn't playing that mid-heavy a game, and Vakban should have figured it out by now. They should have gone for those uh, mid-aggression, that mid-control. They've never really contested mid that many times, and it's come back to haunt them. They're always doing this 4-1 split. This is not matchmaking. It's not going to work against a team of Portal's caliber if you're bringing such amateur strats to the table. Rane Kaka does get the opening pick. First time in a very long time, it's uh, Vac Band with the man advantage. And we do have Jimmy still lying in wait like a coiled viper in underpass. Will HSB check it? Yes, he will, but doesn't matter. All the kills are going the way of Vac Band this round. And it looks like finally Vac Band will be putting the third round on the board. Pokemon, well, unless he has something to say about it, this man has been an absolute beast so far. He's going to smoke himself off to draw, try and draw the attention. Faint in the meantime will aggress from CD spawn. Doesn't matter. Rane Kaka will get the kill. Now it's all down to Pokemon in a 1v4. And he's not going to find any consolation kills there. Down he goes. Vakban 3. Uh, PES 9. And well, I don't think Vakban, uh, PES are in a state to worry about economy. They have enough money to buy into this round quite comfortably. Faint though will be looking a bit worried. So will HSB. He's been dying quite often. So their money is a bit questionable. They need to win this round here, PES. Otherwise, they might be echoing, well, the penultimate round of the first half. And look at this mid-aggression. Pokemon so far advanced, getting so much information. That nade... Sails harmlessly past Jimmy and Rane Kaka will find criminal. But look at Pokemon's positioning. I don't think they'll be expecting someone to have pushed up so far in mid, but two man advantage again, looking good for Vac Band. There we go. Pokemon finds one kill, but Trans in the meantime has fallen. Uh, what? Pokemon? All right. All right. That works. 3v2, still doable. HSB and Pokemon. Can they do it? Jimmy still making his way up. Hybrid Criminal needs to be careful. Oh, Criminal getting spotted. Sorry, Pokemon getting spotted out, but it doesn't matter. Pokemon just lays down the spray down and puts Jimmy out of his misery. It's a 2v2. Somehow, from a 5v3, Portal have managed to drag it back to a 2v2. And we all saw how that previous 2v2 went. HSB coming in from Connector. We have Pokemon coming in from Jungle. Oh, that nade, that nade. Oh, ho. NA nades, NA nades. Little bit of a fail there. I mean, that Molotov could have easily forced out Rane Kaka from his little hidey hole. The clock's ticking down. They do have two kits. Oh, ho, ho. Double team. And Pokemon with a pixel headshot onto Rane Kaka. And Vakband, again, losing a round that they had a two man advantage. This is shambolic Counter Strike coming out from Vakband. And Pest, just say thank you very much. We'll take that round that you've just gifted us and just be on our merry way. GG, well played indeed to Pez. All right, 10 to 3 going into the penultimate round of the first half. Oh, oh, Jimmy getting spotted out by Criminal. Criminal might be tempted to go for that repeat. Does indeed. And again, just one man towards mid. Why? Why this lackluster mid presence coming out from Vakband? Jimmy? Consistently been soiling his Jimmys this round. This game at least. <laughs> Pokemon! Is this real life or is this just fantasy? This guy is maniacal. This guy is on 22 frags in the first round. Somebody stop him. He's like the mask on steroids right now. And there we go. Criminal does get taken down. Chris with the kill. But Chris on 1 HP. 
someone farts in his direction and he's got he's down for the count he has been the meantime he's going to have to be careful rane kaka is making his way slowly but surely up b short and criminal marking for the push as well oh getting stuck getting stuck Sp spots out rane kaka gets the kill gets the second one as well this is just going south for vac band nothing is working out for them they're not hitting anything and the guys from portal are just having a field day 1 hp chris 1 hp still will get a kill trying to make something happen do some economic damage but let's be honest economy is the least of the concerns for pes right now they're just having their time of their lives 11 to 3 and vacban will be going into the final round of the first half with nothing but pistols nothing but pistols Jimmy holding the corner with the deagle and Jimmy will continue to hold the corner with the deagle as he ascends into the afterlife trance with the opening kill of the round and HSB and Pez again the pins are played oh what a shot from Spawn though crisp clean Juan Diego in the meantime Pokemon just continuing where he left off spraying them down through the smoke Rani Kaka down a half HP pulls out the usp but unfortunately will not be able to get the kill trans in the meantime cleans up chris and now it's all down to mr rane kaka armor and an m4 at his disposal 1v3 no bomb control will have to go secure the bomb there's still a minute left to play with for him so he can <coughs> choose to go either towards the a or the b bomb side that's left up to him but it is not looking good does have a molotov that he's picked up from the dead body of hsb or pokemon i think it was pokemon that he picked it up from and rane kaka well it's all on his shoulders 1v3 an op an ak and an m4 to fight against all he has is 56 hp no head armor and an m4 and a molotov let's not forget the molotov and he's walking in towards the a bomb site where two players lie in wait trans just marking that push from t ramp good good off angle it is more of a one and done spot but I think he hasn't spotted out the shadow doesn't matter what a flick what a flick and with that pez again this these games of late have been just so one sided and so dominant 12 3 half yes yes mirage is a city sided map but come on guys 12 3 that is ridiculous that is ridiculous not even ridiculous we do have a timeout being called by pez it's a good Uh, good point to take a time out 12 3 leading and uh, going into the pistol round you know just to work out what you're going to play for your pistol strat maybe you have something new that you have been meaning to try out considering that you have a nine round cushion you can try something new something you know outlandish something maybe you wouldn't dare try in a close game and let's see let's see if that's what they go with do will we see some outlandish pistol play coming out from a portal esports or will we see the standard mirage pistol defaults that we've come to expect from quite a few teams over the course of the years that this map has been in the active duty pool <clears throat> all right looks like a standard a hit five players outside a free kill marking the palace push trans and hsb need to be careful i think they should smoke off stairs that's the one smoke that should be coming in and nope no smokes yet they're holding on to it it's going to smoke for jungle it's a deep jungle smoke and the opening kills going the way what what do heck it's a 5v3 in the blink of an eye it's a 5v3 good post plants jungle control completely in the hands of pez and now it's just gone from bad to worse chris getting spotted out pokemon does fall to chris and we do have jimmy who got stuck on the scaffolding and that's the 14th round for pez i mean one thing's for sure though vacband really needed that round it should have been their round because now they have 
a mountain to climb if they wa- want to even have the hopes and the dreams of mounting a comeback in this game. Pest, just sorry, thirteen, thirteen to three is the score. It was twelve three. My bad. I, I can't read. I'm a bit, bit confused. It seems. Anyway, four AK is one Mac ten, so no utility. I'm not a big fan of this approach uh, that Portal Esports have taken because obviously they are playing against the force by the armor pistols, five CZs, four sets of Kevlar and helmet, and one Rane Kaka with just the Kevlar and two flashbangs as well. Criminal leading the charge with the Mac ten. I think, and Trans will open things up with the kill onto spawn. And Jimmy will find Criminal. See, that's what I'm talking about. You need the utility. You need the flashbangs, the smokes, the Molotovs, and, po- and the Pokemon. As long as you have the Pokemon, they're going to win your battles for you. Because right now, Pokemon is on 26 frags. And bear in mind, we've just ha- we're into the 17th round. Trans. I think he has an idea where Free Kill might be playing from. Rane Kaka will find HSB. Recovers an AK-47. That's huge. And down he goes. But there's still one player left to contend with. And that's Free Kill, who hasn't shown himself thus, thus far. But it looks like it's a very, very split T side. And yeah, that's the problem. Free kill doesn't check. And it looks like Faint will have to pull off a crazy 1v2 clutch. Because both the players, Free Kill Wow and Chris, have AK-47s. They have decent positions. They can just retake together. The only thing lacking is a kit. So Faint, if he can get the bomb down and retreat to a good post plant, he can actually win this out. It's very much doable, but I have a feeling that the moment Free Kill hears the bomb, bomb sound, he's going to go for the peak and try and go for the kill. Because it's going to be a while uh, for Chris to rotate. He's playing all the way on B balcony, and it does look like it's going to be Free Kill who will get the kill onto Faint. Faint going to be planting safe. And now Faint knows exactly where Free Kill's playing from. Will smoke off CT. It's a bit of, a, bit of an iffy smoke towards CT, but he's going to be chilling out towards Tetris. The retake will be coming in. Chris uses the one sole bit of utility at their disposal, which is, well, the flashbang. And Faint. The 1v2. Doesn't matter. Free kill will get the kill. And again, it's not just the Indian teams. It seems everyone from the subcontinent struggles with playing the anti-force by because Portal just lost a round that they had no business losing. Although they do get the bomb down, but... I mean, come on, guys. You're better than this. You've shown us on your CD side that you're more disciplined than this. Regardless, it's still a nine-round lead for uh, Portal Esports. VAC band still languishing on just four rounds, but now they have a good chance to actually close that lead a little bit so that they give, give themselves a fighting chance, if at all any. Looks like it's going to be a YOLO B play. Nope, it's going to be a YOLO underpass play. Rane Kaka trying to get cheeky with the jumping scouts. And look at that, just getting swarmed towards jungle. Just two guns retrieved, one scout, one AK-47. Armor under trance, doesn't matter. HSB will get Chris. It's a 2v4. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a 2v4. All of a sudden, just... Blink of an eye, just that fast play towards connector. I don't know why no one dropped a Molotov or a smoke or nades, anything. Oh, the timing on Faint, the timing on Faint. And Spawn, he's got to go huge. He's already found two quick headshots. Can he do more? He's already gone above and beyond this round, Spawn. So has HSB, actually, if you come to think about it. It is going to be a B pincer. Spawn needs to be careful. He's weary, but doesn't matter. Criminal will shut him down. Gets the FAMAS as well. And now it's all down to Jimmy. And HSB has taken a pretty good uh, position in market. Will Jimmy be expecting it? No, he won't. And there's death. Bhai aur beheno, isse kehte hai, HSB ne Jimmy ko dhappa kiya. Dhappa. Kone se kude aur peet mein kai saare goliya dal diye. And he's dead. He's pushing up daisies. He's down for the count. And with that, Pes has moved on to 14 rounds. And yeah, now Vakban's turn to lose against the pistols. What is it with the force buys working out? I don't get it.
now vacban's room for error is fast diminishing so they have to go in for a force buy of their own it's not it's not ideal but it's the only option left to them they can't really do anything at this point they don't have rounds to give they have very little wiggle room and it's going to be criminal who's going to be finding chris and there's still pa a spawn left in the smoke the criminal is going to find him as well jimmy in the meantime juan deeg's trans off the server he just got deleted deleted Pokemon slowly but surely inching his way towards B. No, he's falling back. It's interesting that B bomb site was ripe for the taking. But now both the rifles, Jimmy and Free Kill, making their way to B. So I don't know where they're getting their reads from. Portal Esports. That is a sublime call to go for the A bomb site right about now because Free Kill. And well, Pokemon opening things up with the kill on a Jimmy, who was the player with the AK-47. This does not bode well. And the remaining three players on Pez, they're just going to waltz into the A bomb site, just traipse their way in, get the bomb down, and take up post plants. But uh, uh, Rane Kaka can can be a kebab mehaddi, as they say. That's his position being known. Oh, and it's a two v two. What? How has that happened? How on earth? Has that happened? Wow. Wow. Somehow, Vakban showing grit and determination that I didn't know existed. And oh, criminal almost lining them up. But doesn't matter. Free kill with a 4K from heaven to bail his team out of a really, really tight spot. 21 HP on him. And now Vakban again winning their first buy. This second half hasn't been a game of Counter-Strike, ladies and gentlemen. It has been... A set of table tennis or ping pong because it's just been back and forth, back and forth, and back and forth. All right, since Pez did manage to get the bomb down. I mean, they will go out and they're going out fast. A, HSB gets the trade on to Jimmy. Free kill now stuck in a rock and a hard place, but he will manage to find trance. Can he do more? No, he can't. HSB will decapitate him with the utmost of ease. His bullets piercing his skull like a warm knife through butter. And that's more or less the round. Rane Kaka in a 1v3. HSB just cleaving his way into the ape bomb side, just brute forcing and just wrecking Vac Band and tearing them a new one. There we go. Criminal will return the favor for the previous round. He's not going to get taken for a ride two rounds in a row. And with that, Portal Esports, well, they're on match and map point. Let's just take a look at Tab. This is where the second half started. It's literally a sine wave right now. It's just back and forth, back and forth. It's crazy. It's cray cray. Rane Kaka, speeding his way towards underpass. Criminal is just going to open the spray, but takes a lot of damage in return. That nade, though. Oh, my God. Chris will get one kill, but he should get traded out immediately. No, he won't. He manages to escape. Somehow, he manages to escape. Man advantage to the CTs. Could this really be happening? Oh, that underpass push. Two-man advantage to the CTs. Vakband still in it, ladies and gentlemen. It ain't over till the fat lady sings. And Vakband are not done just yet. Chris on 18 HP does get the kill. Finally faint there to trade it out. What was faint doing? Maybe just zoned out a little bit there. Should never have let that trade frag, that frag come in from Chris. Never been allowed. Trance does get spawned. That was a crisp shot from high mid. Nasty. Absolutely nasty. Trans needs to be careful. He's marking the offish angle. And Jimmy. But Jimmy. Still alive and kicking. But Faint will see an end to that. Faint now in a 1v2. Free kill with the Deagle. Rane Kaka with the AK-47. Trying to go for the long range spray. Does get him. Now it's a 1v1 free kill. Just as a Deagle but Faint. Bear in mind 37 HP. That's one shot from the Deagle. And free kill just not connecting. 
just not connecting. 14 seconds left on the, on the clock. Faint has to go for the bomb plant. And he will. Needs to be careful that Molotov free kill is just going to run through it. Faint should have heard that. Oh, free kill. Knew that Faint was low. All he had to do was just connect one shot of the Deagle. And he's good for that. He's good for that. Again, just taking a look over towards Tab. Pokemon. Pokemonster. He is the real monster. 27 kills on this guy. 27. And obviously, Pess, still on match and map point, will go for the force by. Has, it has to be. This has been the theme of the second half. Ladies and gentlemen, it's just been ping pong. I'm pretty sure Pez are going to win this force by and win the game. Like, that's just how this game has been going. Every team that's forced has won their rounds. Never has it been the other way around in the second half. While the first half was a story of pure domination, just one-way street all the way, the second half has just been back and forth, back and forth. Maybe the story would have been different if Vakban started on the CT side, but they didn't. And Pest just played a phenomenal counter-terrorist side, and now they're just chilling. They're just taking it slow, just... Playing for the kills, playing for the trades, nothing fancy. No real strats here on display, as they say. And Spawn is playing a very dangerous game. Needs to be careful. Faint is pushing up slowly but surely. That smoke will start to dissipate. And so will Faint's. So will Spawn's head. Bye bye birdie. Is what HSB says. And Trans gets Jimmy. And it's a 2v5. Make that a 4v5. Free kill still alive and kicking. Spots out Faint. Goes for the pre-fire. Gets the kill. That's the second kill for him on the round. Almost lands a third. But now it's a 1v2. Rane Kaka. Although Criminal is frightfully low. They don't have bomb yet. Rane Kaka getting spotted out. He's going to get smoked off. And Trans needs to stay alive and wait for his teammate to come. He's going to reposition. Trans will dodge that flash rather expertly and deftly. And Rane Kaka, there we go. Good night, sweet prince. Portal Esports clinching their game 16-6. That was a definitive win, ladies and gentlemen. And the boys from Pakistan.